So in the previous video, I was showing you guys how bloated these cells are at a high state of charge. And some of my viewers suggested that I rearrange the cells so that the faces are not touching each other. And that would reduce pressure on these terminals. But if I were to do that in this box, it would not fit. It would be too long. It would actually overextend past this box. I measured it. But this week I actually added these metal shelves for my main solar power system. And I can actually fit the cells on this shelf. So we're gonna rebuild the battery right here. And moving heavy bodies, whoops. Oh my gosh, bodies, what did I say? Moving heavy batteries out of a box like this is not good for my back. So I'd much rather have it on those shelves. Why did I say bodies? <laughs> And if these cells are not touching each other, the casing is connected to the positive terminal. So there will be reduced risk for that as an issue as well. Now the first row is done and you'll notice that there's a gap between each cell. I'm also using a rubber mat so that it insulates from this metal wire shelf. Now the only issue with this configuration is when you connect two rows in series, this is still gonna be close to each other, but because you can rotate it, the cells are actually not touching each other. So this is actually a really nice configuration. Now the BMS is installed and the balance cable, and it was very easy to route these cables between the cells, and these are voltage sensing. They're not carrying any current, so it's okay to have them close to each other like I do. But yeah, it's very easy to wire up in this configuration. This only took a few minutes. We have the main negative over here and the main positive right here. Now that both batteries are completely finished, I will put them in series. I like to not have them in series until I'm completely done, so then I'm always working with a lower voltage. The moment I make this connection, I'm working with higher voltage, so I need to be careful now. And up until now, everything's been very smooth, but having these BMSs unsecure and close to each other scares the heck out of me. So I'm gonna have to secure these somehow. For now, I'm just gonna zip tie this so that I can run a conductor over here and cycle this battery today, because I actually need this battery. You know what, I could mount these to the frame. So luckily the NEC doesn't cover things like this, but it probably should. But the balance cable reaches it and I can secure the negative conductor to the frame. And then the, the positive conductor will not touch the frame at all anywhere. But uh, yeah, this will actually work for now. But yeah, I'm just imagining the comments right now. People are not gonna like this configuration. <laughs> Oh no, this cable's supposed to be over here and this is supposed to go to the battery. I'm such an idiot. I don't think I've made that mistake in a long time. So I had to rewire my system a bit because that circuit breaker was on the other side. So I moved it over here with four aught gauge cable and now I can supply this battery. So now we have the main positive connected and the main negative. So first I'm gonna connect these batteries in series by connecting the balance cable into this BMS. And the first pack is now active. Now we're gonna attach the second pack. We have 53 volts, so we're set to go. Now we need to close the circuit breaker and it's charging. So we got 32 amps going into the battery right now. And now it's set up, all of the cells are happy. These things can bloat as much as they want and it will not cause stress to these terminals. And they're not even touching each other anymore, so this is really nice. But I really need to find out a way to mount these BMSs so that they are secure. But for now, that will work fine. I'll think for the next couple days and I'm sure something will come to me. And obviously, I'm gonna protect the terminals with some form of insulative device. I'm sure people are gonna comment and say, why aren't you protecting those terminals? Well, we've got a shelf a couple inches above it and it's gonna be covered with plastic. Um, so it's fine as it is, but yeah, I'm gonna cover it just one more time just in case. But it's actually working, so yeah, I'm gonna cycle this as long as I possibly can. Hopefully none of these sell short or overpressure relief valve, but I highly doubt it. Um, in this configuration, they should be good to go. So thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much to my commenters that gave me this idea. Um, it did not work in the box previously, but on this shelf, this is perfect. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.